Baristas spend years honing their craft to make cafe quality coffee. But all the hard work is done for you with the Barista Touch. There's a clever touch screen that lets you simply swipe and select from a range of cafe favorites. The Barista Touch then guides you through each step with ease. It lets me customize a coffee so it's just the way I like it. Stronger, weaker, hotter, cooler, frothier or not. Then it lets me choose my own icon, name it and then save it as a favorite. Nice. I'll show you how easy it is to use. Let's make a latte. The Barista Touch with its built-in grinder lets me grind on demand, so you capture all those delicate aromas like any good cafe. It precisely controls the dose, so all you need to do is tamp and trim, just like a pro. I just collapse the grinds into the porta filter before using the tamper and applying firm pressure with a slide twist to finish. Then I use this razor to trim for the perfect dose. It makes black coffee as great as milk coffee, creating a great Americano with just a few simple steps. Easy. Now it's time to brew. Precise water temperature and the right pressure at the right time are the keys for a balanced tasting espresso. The difference between a sweet or ashy tasting espresso can be as little as one degree in the extraction. This machine uses advanced PID digital temperature control, the same as any high-end commercial espresso machine. The very best commercial machines use low pressure to gently expand the grinds prior to full nine bar pump pressure. So does the Barista Touch. That's how the perfect espresso shot should look. It flows from the porta filter like warm honey. Finally, let's texture some milk. Now this is where everyone struggles. It's a mix of art and science that takes years to master. Not with the Barista Touch. When you're creating micro foam milk, you need to control temperature and texture for the drink you're making, which is tricky. But now both are controlled for you automatically. You can still adjust both temperature and texture to suit your own taste. Look at that silky texture and finish the milk this machine creates. Just like a pro. Without this microphone, milk is likely to sit as a layer on your espresso and like that full body taste. Microphone milk entraps the oils of the espresso to create a sweet, balanced flavor with a rich mouth feel. And there you have it. The perfect latte made with the Barista Touch. As good as one made by your local barista. The Barista Touch, cafe quality coffee at your fingertips. The new Nespresso Creatista machines offer a high-end elegant design and a refined finish. It provides an intuitive interface with its high resolution display which guides you through all preparation, settings and maintenance aspects. Thanks to an automatic steam wand combined with a stainless steel barista milk jug, the Nespresso Creatista machines will enable you to easily create an authentic top quality latte art coffee at home. With eight beverage selections with adjustable settings, you can experience the perfect cup of black coffee and also easily texture milk to the selected temperature and style for unique latte art creations from silky smooth latte to creamy cappuccino. Toffee latte, cafe mocha, Espresso Martini, Caramel Cappuccino. The Mr. Coffee Cafe Barista Espresso Maker lets you create delicious coffee house drinks in one simple touch. Be your own barista, brewing rich espressos, aromatic cappuccinos, and decadent lattes in minutes. The 15 bars of pressure and automatic milk frother ensure fabulous results. To begin, fill the water reservoir and slide it into the unit. Pour the milk of your choice in the milk reservoir. Next, place the single or double shot filter inside the porta filter, depending on the type and size of your beverage. Add the espresso grounds, tamping them down firmly, and attach the porta filter to the unit. 
Place your cup under the brew head and aim the frothed milk dispensing tube towards the center of your cup. If making espresso, use the height adjustment tray for smaller demitasse cups. Adjust the froth amount to match your choice of beverage or foam preference. And using the one-touch preset buttons, select your desired beverage and size by pushing the corresponding button. Voila! The Mr. Coffee Cafe Barista Espresso Maker does the rest. Mr. Coffee Cafe Barista Espresso Maker, bringing the coffee house experience home. The new Latissima One machine offers a premium and compact design with a refined metal lever and subtle gloss in matte line patterns. Whether you enjoy a black coffee or a creamy cappuccino, it provides the perfect, convenient and easy to use solution. Just fill the milk jug with the amount of milk you want. Latissima One machine has just one button to prepare your favorite coffee and milk drink. The machine will froth it directly into your cup and brew your coffee for a perfect coffee and milk drink. I'm Phil McKnight, Breville's Coffee Guru, and today I'd like to introduce you to our BS870. We call it the Barista Express. At the heart of this machine is the stainless steel conical burr grinder that's built right into the machine. It also has dose control, which allows you to dose the same amount of coffee into the porter filter every time. Having the grinder built in unlocks one of the secrets to making great espresso, and that's grinding right before you extract espresso. So on the left-hand side of the machine, we have a grind size adjustment dial. This allows you to fine-tune the rate of extraction of your espresso. Also in the machine, we've included a lot of features and functions and technology that we developed in our BS900 dual boiler espresso machine, and they include low pressure pre-infusion and PID temperature control. PID temperature control is really important because that controls water temperature that's delivered to the ground coffee, and that's the secret to getting maximum flavour. Also, we have programmable one cup and two cup buttons. These allow you to extract 30 mils and 60 mils of espresso, but we also have a program function which allows you to customise these volumes so you get exactly the right flavour in your cup every time. We also have a pressure gauge. The pressure gauge is your key to consistency. If you aim to hit the same mark on the gauge every time you extract espresso, you'll know that you're getting consistent flavours. The dedicated water spout is really convenient because it allows you to preheat cups and it also allows you to fill a cup two-thirds full of hot water so you can make a long black. We also have a large water tank which is removable at the rear. It has a carbon resin integrated filter so that helps reduce scale buildup to keep your espresso tasting great. So another really cool feature that we built into this machine is the ability to adjust brew water temperature. Why would we do that? because it's critical to get the best flavour out of the coffee by delivering water at exactly the right temperature for that particular coffee. So you can adjust the water temperature plus or minus two degrees C in one degree C increments. Another convenient feature is we have a removable hopper in our grinder. All you do is just turn the dial, shuts off the bean flow, so you can lift the hopper up, then you can store your beans conveniently in an airtight or vacuum sealed container. That way you'll keep your beans fresh and that's one of the keys to making great tasting coffee. So let's make a coffee. We're just going to insert our porter filter directly into our grind cradle and just bump to start. So you can see here we're grinding right before we extract and that's one of the secrets to making great tasting espresso is grinding really, really fresh. We've got our dose adjustment dial set here so that we should get the right amount of coffee in the filter basket every time. One of the really, really important things to making great espresso. So we carefully remove our porter filter from the grinder cradle. You can see here we've got uh, what looks like a lot of coffee, but that's how freshly roasted, freshly ground coffee looks like. All we need to do is distribute, collapse, and then using our integrated tamper, tamp down nice and firmly. And you can see there we've got the right dose because we've just got our top of our cap on our tamper is level with the top on our filter basket. Just replace our tamper. Wipe the top of the basket, insert into the group head, and brew immediately. So right now we've got the machine is just in its low pressure pre-infusion zone, 
and now we have full pump pressure and we've got nice, really dark, viscous flows of espresso and that's exactly what we're looking for. So our espresso extraction is finished, now we're just going to switch to steam. And this is where our large capacity thermocoil comes into action because we have a really quick transition to steam, only around 30 seconds, so it's really quite quick. We have our jug filled up to the V full of really fresh, nice cold milk. We're just going to pause our steam, insert into the jug and restart our steam. So what we're doing here now is we're just texturing and stretching our milk. And what we're looking for is we're looking for some really, really small microphone bubbles. And the texture of our milk when we're finished should be really, really glassy. It should be like wet paint. Now I'm just using my hand to judge the temperature of the milk. With a bit of experience, it's pretty easy to do that. When it's up to temperature, it's just a little bit too hot to touch, which it is right now. So I'm just gonna turn the steam dial to standby. Drop the jug down, use a wet cloth to wipe the steam wand. And then we're just gonna purge the steam wand. We're just gonna grab our espresso, swirl to break the surface tension of the espresso, and then we're just going to integrate the two together. So there we have a coffee made on our Barista Express, just like you get in your local cafe. Container with fresh coffee beans. Place a cup under the coffee spouts. Lower the spouts as near as possible to the cup. This makes a creamier coffee. Select your required coffee using either the directly selected options of espresso, coffee, or long, or those listed within the menu, Doppio Plus, Americano, or two cups of espresso. Preparation begins, and an image of the selected beverage appears on the display, together with a progress bar which gradually fills as preparation progresses. You can prepare two cups of espresso coffee at the same time by also pressing the selector corresponding to 2x, two times, during preparation of one espresso. The image is displayed for a few seconds at the start of preparation. While the machine is making coffee, delivery can be interrupted at any moment by pressing the selector corresponding to stop. As soon as delivery has ended, to increase the quantity of coffee in the cup, just press the selector corresponding to extra. When the required quantity is reached, press the selector corresponding to stop. Once the coffee has been made, the appliance is ready to make the next beverage. Various alarm messages could be displayed while using the appliance. For example, fill tank, empty grounds container, etc. Do not use green, caramelized, or candied coffee beans, as they could stick to the coffee mill and make it unusable. Place the ground coffee filter in the filter holder. To make one coffee, use the filter with the single spoon symbol on the bottom. To make two coffees, use the filter with the double spoon symbol on the bottom. 
For correct operation, before filling with pre-ground coffee, make sure there are no coffee residues left in the filter from the last time you made coffee. To make a single coffee, place one level measure of pre-ground coffee, about 7 grams, in the filter. To make two coffees, place two loosely filled measures, about 14 grams, of pre-ground coffee in the filter. Fill the filter a little at a time to prevent the coffee from spilling over. Distribute the pre-ground coffee evenly and press lightly with the presser. Remove any excess coffee from the rim of the filter holder and attach the filter holder to the appliance. To attach correctly, align the filter holder handle with the insert symbol, attach the filter holder and rotate the handle towards the right until aligned with the close symbol. Place the cup or cups under the filter holder spouts. Make sure the lights corresponding to the coffee buttons are on, then press the one cup or two cup coffee button. The appliance proceeds to make the coffee and delivery is interrupted automatically. Hints and tips. Correct pressing of the pre-ground coffee is essential to obtain a good espresso. If you press too firmly, the coffee will be delivered slowly and will be strong. If you press too lightly, the coffee will be delivered quickly and will be weak. While the appliance is making coffee, delivery can be interrupted at any moment by pressing the coffee button pressed previously. At the end of delivery, around 3 seconds, to increase the amount of coffee in the cup, press and hold the coffee button pressed previously. Delivery is automatically interrupted after a few seconds. To remove the filter holder, turn the handle from right to left. To avoid splashes, never remove the filter holder while the appliance is delivering coffee. Always wait for a few seconds after delivery. For hotter espresso coffee, you should attach the filter holder to the appliance with the filter in place but without adding coffee. Using the same cup you will be using to make the coffee, press the one cup button and deliver hot water into the cup to heat it. Raise the coffee temperature in the settings menu. Rest the cups you will be using on the cup warmer, which becomes hot during operation. You are recommended to warm the cups before making coffee by rinsing them with a little hot water.